Hey guys, it's Michaela from It's a Bond's Life, and today we are going to be making walking tacos. So the ingredients you are going to need are one tablespoon of butter, one small onion chopped, two small jalapenos with the seeds removed and diced, that is optional. I'm making this for children, so I won't be doing that. You need one pound of ground beef. I'm also not going to do that because I don't feel like it needs it. Two and a half tablespoons of homemade taco seasoning or one packet of taco seasoning from the store. One 14 ounce can of tomato sauce. One 14 ounce can of kidney beans. One 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes drained. Four Frito bags. Make sure they are all corn if you're gluten free. Shredded lettuce, which I'm not going to be doing, but you can do as well. Shredded Mexican cheese blend or any other cheese you would like. And some sour cream. Now let's get started on making these walking tacos. Now we are going to melt our butter over medium heat. Once your butter is melted, you are going to add your onions. And we are going to saute these until they are translucent. And about now you're going to also add your jalapeno and saute that for about two to three minutes as well. So they've been cooking about two to three minutes, so about now you would be adding your ground beef if you're using it. After you are done, you are going to drain it of all the fat, and we are going to add our taco seasoning packet. We're going to stir this and let it cook about maybe one to two more minutes, and then we will add the rest of our wet ingredients. So now we are going to add our wet ingredients. We have one can of tomato sauce. We have one can of kidney beans and one can of diced tomatoes drained. Add that all in. We're going to give it a good stir and cook this until it is heated through thoroughly. And then we're going to assemble our Frito bags. I'll see you guys when this mixture is heated through. Okay guys, so now we're going to assemble it. First thing we're going to do is open our bag of Fritos. And we are going to fill this about two-thirds of the way full. Don't overfill it or you're not going to be able to add the rest of your ingredients. So after it is about two-thirds of the way full, you are going to add your other ingredients such as your sour cream and your cheese. Hope you guys can see this. So now that we have our ingredients in, we are just going to mix it up. And there you have it, a walking taco. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Please comment down below on what other videos that you would like to see me do. Have a great evening.